Hey, internet goes to you with another vlog. It is Tuesday, the 9th of January 2023. And, uh, well, I just been informed today about my grandfather. He's no longer with us since the 23rd of December. So, he died of... Yeah, he died. So that makes... Four grandparents who had cancer. Uh, maybe I should actually get myself checked. I've got this working. The camera does work. Though from what I from what I remember remember the audio is rather shitty since the mic has been damaged from water damage, water and all that. So, yeah. Uh, it takes a while since it's shit. From what I remember, the audio is rather shitty since the mic has been damaged from water damage, water and all that. So, yeah. Hmm. I've never been the audio was the mic was quite shit as in a lot of static this is the G3 if I remember rightly yep G Motorola G3 I could swore the uh, audio was shit Though I could do with a new thing for it, a new hard case, but yeah. Don't know what the storage is like on this. If it's good enough, I could use this for you know, recording videos instead of the this phone. But this is, a f use, can record in 4K. Well, this doesn't, as far as I know. Uh, the eternal storage is pretty much almost full, but the SD card's got most of it empty, so I don't know if I can record straight to the uh, SD card. Well, I'm formatting it to be internal storage. Is hoping it actually works. Okay. I've, that's the... Um, Seems like the uh, videos have been stored on the SD card now. Apparently it's a bit slow, but I really don't care. It works. So if I need to record some stuff on this, I can. Though the uh, battery doesn't last that long. So I might have to uh, do s some... See about getting the battery changed. Though... I don't know how you would change it, but I'm sure someone out there in Glasgow or whatever or Edinburgh can can do that to make it more to make a battery more last to make it last, you know. Okay, sorry for the voice because cold weather affected my vocal cords. Anyway, no bike. Because, because I left out work, because I was using these keys, which are the wrong keys. These are the right keys. I was using the wrong keys. Ah, I'm a dumbass. <laughs> Absolute dumbass. So, tomorrow I'm going to go back to work. Um, about, about, for about nine or whatever, and get my bike. It is Saturday the 6th of January 2024, and I'm going to work just for the bike. And the bike only. This one's coming up. Okay, I have my bike, and then the last gift I said the 6th. It's actually the 13th. I can't date. Uh, yeah. Days on the month. 
<laughs> anyway, I thought about just getting a train back. Oh, I'm I'm out of I don't really have a video for the main channel. I thought I'd uh, see about going go and recording a video for the main channel. So I don't have to go out tomorrow if I don't have if, if I don't want to. Okay, I'm in uh, Canvas Lank. And, uh, yeah, I've been here once before. Around this town last year. So I'm not the park somewhere around here. Let's see about finding it. So I decided after recording from the main channel, I decided to go, go, come to the city centre for a little walk about. So let's have a nice little walk about for a few seconds. So I'm back at the flat. Got the bike back here. So one of us. I did not mean to buy some stuff at, while I was in the city centre, but I did. Finally found some shot glasses at uh, the uh, Poundland from Pep Home and Co. Or Pep, or Pep and Co. Home or whatever. A bit late, but rather late than never. I bought these for the shits and giggles. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really believe in that crap, but I am. And of course, I bought this at um, Forbidden Planet. I had to buy it. Because Tokipi is my favourite uh, Pokemon. Oh, uh, yes. Tokipi Pokemon 175. Uh, it's apparently dishwasher safe, microwave safe, and good for food, apparently. Uh, made in China for a PC. Kind of a, an insulted Japanese making stuff in China. Hello! Well, here. Yeah. Granted, I do have plenty of mugs as it is, so I really don't need any more. But still, Tokipi. It is the 14th of uh, January 2024. <coughs> Let's actually see what, see how fortune with these tarot cards. I don't really believe in this kind of bull crap, but yeah, it'd be fun since I bought them. If I could fold them, fold them, uh, shuffle them even. Fuck's sake. A lot more difficult than playing cards <clears throat> oh, yeah. I do have a tarot card meanings app on that on that phone <clears throat> From what I understand, you have to draw. You have to draw like three to five cards. So let's go for five. The King of Swords. Ace. Ace of. Uh, pentacles. The Sun. The moon, the star. Let's see what each one says. Uh, King of Swords. Swords. Six of Swords. Let's see. King of Swords meaning. The King of Swords represents the professional aspects of authority, often associated with those in legal or business careers, careers which I'm not in either. Uh, he most likely, he most likely represents someone who will aid you in all these fields. Oh, well, so I'm 
someone in a legal or business crew who's going to help me. Who hate you in one of these fields. This person will be assertive or even speak to dom dominate you in their com com confidence. But that confidence that they know how best to aid you. While they may be friendly, their primary motivation is unlikely to be emotional. Past. Your strength lies in your intelligence. Uh, uh, intelligent. Intelligent. Or looking ahead and taking authority into account will lead you to turn your collection of good ideas into reality. Present. A figure of authority may help you set plans in motion. Future, there is an opportunity, opposition, uh, uh, there is a op opposition to your ultimate goals. Gail and your superior intellect will lead you past this destructive barrier. You will fulfil you find fulfillment in organising those around you as a leader. <sighs> the King of Swords is an assertive professional decision maker with high intel intellect and a knack for leadership. He represents big decisions to come and need to take control and set boundaries and make and uh, while making firm commitments to your goals. This card provides no clear answer, maybe at best. Okay. What's an ace of pentacles? Pentacles. Ace. Ace. Aces always represent a new beginning in some form, and the ace of pentacles Probably, definitely, probably mispronouncing that. Pentacle suggests that a strong, a strongly positive one for you. Your life is about to enter a very productive period, or at least a period which will see you work, your work rewarded in a good, in good me measure to the level of work you are willing to perform. This period will. Also, see most of your relationships on stable ground, and despite the hard work you may be doing, you will be very content with your situation. Past your time has been well spent, and you will eventually achieve the success you des you desire. The projects you have begun will pay off. Present reassuring news will come to you. It will. It may help you reala realize that you are on the uh, appropriate path to receive the recognition and material rewards you deserve. Future, you are destined for a major gain, whether this be this be financial, emotional, or personal. There are sp spiritual blessings waiting for you. Yes, no key interpretation. The Ace of Pinta Pentacles represents prosperity, financial gain, and su successful endeavors in ending in promotion. It begins with it with a good look as well as as emotional stability. This card is highly suggestive of a positive future and being able to attain your goals. The answer. Here is your la is yes even. Let's see the sun. Let's see the full season. Ah, the sun meaning. <coughs> as a as an. Inherently good influence, finding the sun is a positive development. It is suggestive of a personal gain and that personal goals 
and joy yeah with or oh, within reach if you are willing to invest to effect to actualize them if you are embarked on a new personal venture such as marriage or beginning a family the sun is particular influence the success you have achieved in the past will set the stage for future joys continue developing your line of work or field of study and the rewards will come present there is an opportunity opportunity for a new relation a new friendship or a relationship that will lead to happiness and contentment do not give up and you will lead to success future you are approaching the moment the moment a moment that has the potential to change your life take full advantage of this time and you will achieve a future of endless possibilities the sun being the opposition to opposition to the moon is a card full of life joy and energy it, it reveals positive achievements successful endeavors and an overall manifestation manufacturing words of good fortune in your life thus the answer is provide it provides for you your question is yes yeah of course got the moon Something in your life is not what it seems. Perhaps a misunderstanding on your part or a truth you cannot admit to yourself. It may also indicate something important being kept from you by another. This may be a source of worry or depression in your life and the moon is a strong indicator that you must rely, rely on your intuition to see through the sub Fuge. Your misunderstanding of a past event may be distorted by your current perceptions. Reflect on your history and make sure, and make sure the pieces fit together by eliminate, eliminating uncertainty. You will find more peace. This is a challenging uh, approaching. There, uh, there is a challenging approaching taking taking the form of either a new creative project or a conflict in a relationship your history will reveal the best course of action your imagination will begin will bring you success if you if your thoughts are compelled with practical actions the struggle to reach your potential may bring bring about many conflicts in your life but the results will be beautiful the moon is an elusive, elusive and confusing card. It suggests the pres presence of risks, secrets and some level of mental confusion. It would warn you to take caution and be careful in whatever endeavour you are pursuing in your life. The answer you are seeking is no. Oh, Pisces. I was born on the 25th of February, so that's my astral sign. The star. The star's, uh, the star's presence significant, signifies a period of respite and re renewal for you. This renewal may be spiritual physical or both it is particularly positive sign if you or someone close is recovering from illness or injury it is a light in a darkness illuminating your future and your past move on from what the hardships of the past and begin your renewal at the end of the struggle uh, yeah, end of the struggles will be peace will lay on Rely on your inner strength and external support systems. Consider consider balance and resist, um, restraint from finding solutions to your current problems. Consider balance and 
restraint from finding solutions to your current problems. The right, mo right amount of help and encouragement will bring harmony and happiness to your circles. The time of your renew renewal is approaching. You will you have chosen the right path to restore your mental and physical health by bring being brave enough to choose the riskier roads you will inspire those around you yeah, the star is symbolic of hope renewal and beauty it it suggests a period of spiritual tranquil spiritual tranquility happiness and positive opportunities the overall feeling of this of this card is optimistic and serene. The answer, the answer suggested by its presence is yes. So perhaps, yes. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> okay, I've got a card to send out. Though it is currently 4pm and post office it's not really going to be open. So, this shall be sitting over here somewhere. Waiting to be sent. Which will be Wednesday. Uh, you are still being charged. You are. The only things I've done really have been cleaning the windows. At least in here in the living room and in the kitchen well frankly they look a lot better without all that grime that you can that you get in cities well i'm gonna leave the door open a bit and yeah i still need to clean this and all that and yeah i do need to put those away though i could do with seeing about getting a mid so early there's some black material to Pat that up and sew this on. Yeah, yeah and I could do with sewing that up. Useless! Well, I could do with getting someone to clean all this up. I mean, pigeons are well known to come in here and just shit all over the place. Yeah. And you are useless. Push to get the pigeons away. But you're not. Useless bastard. Okay. Don't. Pretty much nothing all nothing besides all of that and uh, hmm maybe I should do this and with that I have yeah grand I mean I did a little bit in here because you know uh, here to a uh, there's a bit here to actually do. Bollocks. Hmm. A lot better. Focus, you plonker. Yeah, that's a lot better. Yeah. I mean, but frankly, I would like it longer, but hey, uh, sometimes you've got to cut it. Yeah. The pain in the arse doing it in here. I do wish I was able to put that up, though I would need someone who's got a better drill than me because I kind of tried to drill in here but it's not that grand. So in town next time ladies, gentlemen, whoever else, whatever. Mm -hmm.